module 3 ETL with Spark SQL. So we will take a next topic and discuss regarding uh, user defined functions which are also called as uh, UDFs and also the control flow. Before uh, proceeding if you are new to this channel and haven't yet subscribed for this channel we would recommend you to please subscribe and also press bell button for instant notifications. So let's get started. So UDF and uh, control flow uh, are another uh, in, the, in the Spark SQL uh, these are important concepts to understand uh, especially when you want to customize uh, your transformations uh, uh, and uh, use the functions uh, in a re reusable format. So yeah we know that there are like uh, pros and cons of using user defined functions. However if your uh, data size is uh, less or if you want to uh, uh, if you are okay to compromise some sort of performance uh, so then uh, UDFs are for you and uh, so you to use UDF basically what you need is like you need a Databricks version uh, that is 9.1 or above only then it is uh, supported UDFs are supported and also we will see in this uh, uh, exercise we will see how do we define UDFs and use the UDFs and also we see how do you use case and when statement so let's get uh, into the practical aspects of it practical aspects of it uh, what is user defined function right so user defined functions uh, are basically a functions which can be reused in any part of the code so you define basically it's like any function in the programming language you define a function and uh, you can reuse that uh, functionality where and when as uh, needed similarly so the user defined functions also work like a in the programming language right so this can be reused any in any part of the SQL, right? And uh, basically, so as you can see, uh, so we will just create a temporary table. Like uh, say, for example, this is my temporary table where I add a few uh, uh, food items uh, like pizza, beans, potato, and bread, and then I do uh, write into some temporary table called uh, food, right? Temporary view for that matter, and then I'll just display that view. So this is a first step where you can just start practicing and now so let us define one sm small UDF so what is the syntax of defining a UDF let us understand so it is very similar to how do you create a table right so it will be create or replace then followed by the keyword function and then you give the function name and what you give inside is basically the parameter that uh, your function you want the function to take and after that, uh, so the lines that you are giving here, uh, so it's it will be basically a, the f so first line uh, will be basically a data type that you want to return, and second is uh, what is exactly that uh, string or the what exactly that uh, uh, character or a value that you want to return back uh, to the calling function or calling uh, SQL program, right? So here, uh, a link is our function, and when uh, anything. Uh, passed to this function any string is passed to this function uh, so the return type will be string so that is returns so returns is nothing but what data type your returns returning and what exactly your return so return is nothing but the value that you are returning so it returns string but return what value so the value you are just uh, making it as an upper string and then uh, putting an exclamator symbol that's that's where you call it as yelling so you are yelling the foot whatever you are giving so if I say pizza, so it will say pizza, that means it is upper casting and then putting the exclamatory symbols, right? So that is what you are supposed, uh, your UDF is supposed to do here in this case. Now, uh, as you can see here, uh, so whenever uh, I pass uh, any food values, right? So whatever I pass here, it basically else, right? And uh, basically you can also just uh, try to uh, use this user defined function any type right so i'm just uh, without any table i'm just trying to give select uh, I'm, I'm calling the function the data channel right so it is first thing is it converting everything into caps and uh, also attaching the exclamator symbol at the last so that's what it is supposed to do right so that's how the user defined function can be used so now let us see uh, if you describe the function Ling, right? So this is a function Ling. So if you describe the function, you can similarly how do you describe a table, right? You can describe function also. And uh, when you do that, so it basically gives you what exactly the function is. I mean, which library it is, right? And uh, 
which a uh, uh, spark catalog it is right and also it gives you the uh, basically the type uh, what type whether it is a scalar type or what uh, uh, type and uh, it also gives you the input that it takes it takes the input of string and it returns the string as as well right so that's how uh, you can uh, describe a function similar and similarly uh, how do you you extend describe function extended so how do you do a similarly to a table describe a table extended here you do a describe function extended and it gives a few more details like uh, say for example deterministic true data access contains a sql configurations right so what are the different uh, spark configurations that has been set on this table who, who is the owner so all these details will be given and uh, what is the content of the body etc so finally as next video so let us understand how the case statement is used right uh, so it is very similar to the sql if you are worked in a sql program uh, SQL, uh, coding so it is very similar if you see right like a case when food equals to bean so when it is bean, it, it just returns I love bean. When it is potato, it says uh, my favorite vegetable is potato and so on. So if um, uh, nothing else uh, is actually suitable or nothing else uh, satisfies the condition, so then it goes to the else condition. So it is like uh, simple any other kind of a programming. So here, case statement, what I'm doing is I'm applying a lot of food. So first for data table as we saw in the beginning of this video was pizza. So that is pizza or to say is a so I don't think uh pizza because it is not pizza on that. So that is what it actually says uh, I don't eat pizza. And if it is beans, uh, so it's found so that's what it says beans. So, uh, actually, self explanatory. I don't want to go in and each and everything yet. So, hope you know how to use the case and the statement. So, the, the keyword for you is case and then start with when, right? And as you can see, case and end should be the statement uh, uh, using the uh, uh, keywords here. In between, you can use the when, then, when, then as a uh, for each case, the case and uh, if you have a default case, you can use else statements. So now let us try to mix both of these, uh, the function concept uh, and also the uh, case statement concept. Uh. So how do we do that? Uh, so suppose uh, I want to create a function here to die like and which take a parameter called foot and then returns a uh, data type. Uh, and uh, what exactly it returns is the case statement that we previously saw. So now you're trying to make it a little more complicated so that uh, you understand how to mix the things and how to get uh, 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 like the required uh, things done. So basically what we're trying to say here is uh, so the function that you're using it can be uh, it can be simple uh, mathematical calculation that you are using or you are just doing a concatenation of a string or something very simple string operations or you perform some kind of a complex transformation like uh, adding case statements or uh, making it uh, more complicated by adding uh, such uh, many more mathematical uh, or many more string operations uh, as needed right basically it can be any kind of complication you can add into a function so now that we have created this function, this function, as you can see, if I can just execute this function, it actually gives you the result, and it says I know that is also just readable. I'm just the input also along with the function that you're calling. So if this is it says I don't like pizza, it is being like I say that love is and so on right so that's how uh, uh, you can make use of uh, sql udfs uh, and you can create any kind of a complex uh, udfs and that's all uh, about uh, the sql udf and control flow in data thanks for watching